Yo, what is up, my crazy subscribers? This is Joe King Johnson. Before here, playing some Call of Duty 4. Hopefully, you guys enjoy the gameplay because today I will talk about PewDiePie. Yeah, I know most of you guys are scared. Most of you guys are like, you know, fuck that guy. That guy's just entertaining kids. But, uh, you know, today I'm asking you guys to respect the guy. Yeah. And by the way, I only mentioned him once uh, this year, 2013, and I did talk back up bad about him. But uh, I regret saying anything to him because, uh, you know, now we got to respect this guy. The reason why is because uh, if you guys have seen that YouTube Rewind of 2013, he's the only gamer in the video, apparently, at the end of the video. So that means this guy is our gaming community representative. He's the CEO or whatever, not the CEO, more like the yeah. Let's just keep it representative. Don't don't go don't get any ideas, guys. Uh, he's not he's not he's not our boss, but you know he's our. It's gonna be representing the gaming community apparently. And um, yes, there's other YouTubers out there with a million subs, other gaming channels, but uh, apparently YouTube didn't pick him up. I mean, there's there were like a lot of people there that appear in the in the video. They only have like around two million somewhere around there. Most of them are vloggers, uh, funny channels, comedies comedy channels uh pranks channels and uh, vloggers you know i don't understand why vloggers make fun of uh, the gamers they actually do the same thing as the gamers i mean it's, it's just the gamers don't show their face they show the gameplays i mean it's just a lot of things going on between vloggers and gamers and and a bunch of other channels going on there but but yeah i mean like i said you know this guy uh you know pewdiepie was the only gamer in the whole video so that means that YouTube picked our representative, which is PewDiePie. So all I want to say is let's look at the pros and cons. What would have happened if PewDiePie would have left before the end of 2013? So let's just say he left before, you know, every single copyright thing went on. So uh, he left, right? Now the copyright comes in, you know, the, co the copyright claims, the content ID claims. Now everything would have been messed up more than it is right now. Channels would have been taken down. Sponsors would have been like in like like a they would have had like a knife in, in their throats because, fuck you know they're gonna be like fuck it you know fuck gaming community. That's how they're gonna be. They're gonna be like fuck it, destroy them all, kill them all. I don't want them here because you know uh, apparently music studios are suing YouTube and uh, they don't want to take part of it. So now every single gaming channel would have been down and the only ones that are gonna be up are the ones with the you know with, with the partnerships. Now that's hardcore would have been. No gaming channels at all. How the hell are you going to grow on YouTube? So that's how I think it would have been, man. Every single gaming channel out there with no um, sponsors or partners, you know, that would have been gone. I would have seen I would have seen Megan, you know, go away. Epic Ninja Girl, go, go away. Naughty, you know, also would have gone away because they don't have partners. That's how bad it would have been. So, um, so, yeah, I mean, now with PewDiePie... This is what we have now. Apparently, YouTube's gonna save us a little bit of more. They're gonna give us a little bit of more chances because of PewDiePie. PewDiePie is, you know, a big in YouTube that he has like over, I don't know how much, 10 minutes of subs, and, you know, this guy made it. So, they're gonna give us a little respect to the gaming community due to PewDiePie. They can't cut him off because he's mostly shown up in the freaking recommended. So, they can't cut him off. So that's why the gaming community right now is on the little string. And PewDiePie is the only one holding it. See where I'm getting here, guys? So for, from now on, guys, let's just respect PewDiePie. You don't have to watch his videos. You don't have to leave a dislike. Well, if you want to, because that's your opinion. I cannot control that. But, you know, don't put that on the guy. He's our representative for every single gaming community out there. No matter if you play sports, no matter if you play Call of Duty, League of Legends, Smite, Grand Theft Auto, Minecraft, no matter what gaming community you're part of, PewDiePie is our representative, apparently. Even though there's other YouTube channels, other gaming channels with over a million subs, PewDiePie apparently is still number one out there. So, from now on, guys, we got to keep PewDiePie on YouTube. Because if not, YouTube would have screwed us over even worse than how we are right now. So, uh, let's save our gaming community, guys, and respect PewDiePie. So, that's pretty much it, guys. And hopefully you guys enjoy the background gameplay because it's pretty awesome. Uh, Call of Duty 4, you know, apparently brought me a lot of memories. So, um, 
So if you guys are against me or with me, um, you know, let me know in the comment section. Leave your opinion because it is true, man. I mean, just look at the YouTube Rewind. He's the only gamer out there. Just look at it. So yeah, I just want to hear your opinions, guys. You know about this situation, how we gotta, you know, respect PewDiePie from now on because he's the only one representing us. So um, so yeah, guys, uh, leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what's up, and make sure you guys subscribe to Megan, which is Girl Gamer Status, Epic Ninja Girl, and Naughty Eighty Eight. That guy's crazy. So I'll see you guys later and enjoy your day.